Okay, so this is the third podcast we've done. I'm sure you've seen the other two. We did one with uh, Mark and Chris uh, from Pest Interceptors. And yep. then with Tony, Tony Knight, uh, as you know. Uh, so you're you're the third podcast we've done now. and uh, Hopefully I won't be the last. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> hopefully you won't be the last. Never done it like in this situation where I'm doing it from my house, you're doing it from your garden, and the recording, we'll see how it goes. But normally we use big mics and pro equipment but there's a lot of equipment and now you've got uh, although you've got the birds singing in the background so you can, it's not not all bad i don't know whether you can hear that but they start to de- they start to deafen me that the sound of the birds over the traffic to be honest with you i am um, i'm a i'm a city boy so uh, it's not uh not exactly what i'm used to and how does it feel being with Lodi now it's good it's um obviously things are a little bit strange at the moment um it's not uh and the normal start that a person would have to to a new a new life in a, a new company, but it's been um, it's it's been good. It's been good as good as it can be. It's a bit of a weird situation to drop yourself into, isn't it? It is. It is. I mean, obviously, because of my background and experience within the industry, I think that's made it a lot easier for me. Uh, fortunately, um, to be able to just come into the to, into this position and just be able to carry on from pretty much you know uh, industry wise from where I left off. Um, yeah. So it's uh, yeah, I think I think I am very very fortunate at the moment. Um, I'm like a few people out there um, that that aren't. I like your office. Yeah, my office. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, just to point out that I'm not in a um, I'm not in, a, in some kind of holiday home or villa anywhere. Uh, I am actually in my own back garden. Uh, it just happens to be a very very nice day here in Worcester, so I can't complain about that either. We've got it good in the West Midlands. It's kind of like a little bit of paradise, isn't it? It is, mate. It is. We, I think we live in a little bit of a microclimate, uh, especially here in Worcester. Um, I always speak to my family who live over in Birmingham, and they say how it's always raining and cold, and whenever they do, I'm, I'm literally always sat in the garden in the sunshine. So, so yes, I can't complain. It's a new garden as well. I've only been here a couple of months in the house, so all of the, a lot of changes to make in such, a, um, in such a very strange time at the moment. To be honest, it is a weird. It's a weird situation we've all come into, and it, I don't know what you've been feeling about it. But talking to technicians, what have they said? Yeah, I mean, it's 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 um it's varied across the board. Um, you've got you know, thankfully, a lot of people are out there. They're still getting the jobs coming in. I think what basically we need to be looking at as an industry is looking at things on a case by case basis. You know, carrying out those risk assessments completely. Uh, regardless of what jobs you're doing, you know, and the biggest question, obviously, that should be on everybody's lips is, is this safe to do this job? Am I going to potentially uh, cause any issues for myself and my family um, or for the people that I'm doing the work for? And that's the biggest, um, that, that's, that, that needs to be the biggest question that people are asking before they go into these jobs. Um, obviously, external working and areas outside is great. You know, if you've got those, those jobs coming in, um, there's not really uh, too many things that you need to uh, sort of concern yourself with. Uh, but you know, if you're getting sort of call outs for bed bugs, uh, wasps in loft spaces, that sort of stuff that you can't treat externally, um, then you know you need to be making those risk risk assessments and assessing those jobs on a, on a case by case basis. Um, and, and at the end of the day, I've been saying to all my customers, you know, just don't put yourself at risk. There's just and uh, you know just 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 still sort of carry out your job as best you can uh, by, by uh, following those safety measures. You know, with the restaurants closed at the moment and pubs. It's it's towards like health and hygiene and domestic medical premises. Um, yeah, I mean a lot of the pubs, restaurants, and things, uh, from what I've heard um, across the board, are starting to freeze contracts. Um, you know, the, the, these places aren't open. I've noticed that a few customers are stating that they're getting a few more callouts from maybe domestic premises. There's a lot of people now who are at home um, are noticing more of these issues that maybe while they're at work and they've got mice running around their loft or rats running around under units and things, you know, they're not necessarily noticing these problems as quickly as they are now. Um, uh, sort of previously, they, it may have taken them a little bit longer to, to sort of uh, identify they had an issue. So I'm getting one or two customers saying to me they've, they've uh, found that there's an increase in that side of the, uh, in that side of the call outs. But again, you know, it's, a, it's about sort of assessing those individual calls. Um, but in general, restaurants, uh, pubs, places like that, um, sort of leisure facilities, they're all sort of um, you know, on a, cl- a close, obviously, as everywhere is. Um, so that's probably having a knock-on effect on the contracts, uh, that these, the contracts that these guys are dealing with. Sure. I, I guess from a, a technician's point of view, like communicating with the customers, making sure they know they're still there for them, being able to offer the hygiene services 
um, as well as critical. And then when everything reopens, just getting back into business and. I think a lot of a lot of the the, the guys are concerned, and, and there's obviously a reason for that. You know, they're concerned about sort of carrying out disinfectant treatments. What they don't want is something attached to them if something was to go wrong. Um, but it's about you know, as long as you're sort of not going out there and promising the earth. There are products on the market that you can use um, that will work in a disinfectant capacity. Um, you know, we've got the disinfectant smoke bomb that we provide. Um, it's quite unique to the UK market. Um, it's a smoker fum fumigant system, as we've seen with previous insecticides. You light the wick, um, and pretty much away you go. Um, we have small products uh, that you can use in residential properties, and then we've got the larger ones that you can use around sort of um, uh, ma sort of uh, manufacturing sites or warehouses, that sort of stuff as well. So the thing, the thing you, the, that I feel is quite important is to you know one is obviously not go in and sort of, sort of say you know we're going to get rid of COVID-19 if we come in and do this treatment for you. But offering people a bit more peace of mind to, to offer them a disinfectant treatment service for when their employees come back to work. Um, I think at the moment, I think it's you know, that yes, there are people out there doing disinfectant treatments. But I think the one thing that will, will happen is as we start to go back to a period of normality, is that we will find that you know a lot more businesses as they have employees coming back to work are going to want these disinfectant treatments. And, and the smoke bomb, for example, that we provide will offer you that, that additional service to your customers. It's also good, well, if you've got rat jobs, you know, any, any, any area where you're dealing with an infestation of pests, you know, I, I've always been a strong believer, having been in the industry um, for sort of, you know, 12 years now, um, it should be something that you're offering as a, as a, um, as a part of an all-round service. Obviously, obviously, the biggest thing on everybody's lips is, is, uh, is COVID-19. Um, and what we know about COVID-19 is COVID-19 is a coronavirus. Um, so COVID-19 is one of those, you've got SARS, MERS, there's a, there's some, there's a few others as well. Um, and the thing we know about these viruses that's been passed on to us by the government is that they are an envelope virus. And the, the one good thing in, in some respects about envelope viruses is that they are treatable and removed by the, the use of wide range in disinfectant products. So um, sort of going and offering customers a disinfectant treatment service uh, prior to their employees coming back into the, in, into the businesses, um, you know, something like uh, the OPP Fumite is going to be a good product to go in with to offer that back to the customer and give them a little bit of peace of mind as well. Um, it's something that where, you know, maybe you need to still be doing a clean down as well. Don't just sort of go and just release the, the actual smoke bomb. Maybe go in and do a clean down service first and then offer this as a, as, a, as, a, as a disinfectant treatment on top of that. You've got a lot of different areas it can be used. You've got the larger product, which is 250 grams covering a 450 cubic meter area. So if you've got any large warehouses or storage facilities, uh, gyms, schools, things like that, it can be used in those areas as well. As well. You've got, can we use food preparation areas? So if you've got these small kitchens, you know, in, your, in your pubs and your restaurants that you're dealing with um, on a contractual basis, you know, go back to these restaurants, go back to these pubs and say, look, what we want to do is come in with a couple of these, um, you know, and we want to release them into the kitchen area or into, into the main body of the pub. It can be, it's absolutely anywhere it can be used. You don't have to, there aren't really any limits. PPE requirements with this product are, are very little, if any. Um, you know, the, the very, very maximum we, is, we, we recommend you use is a pair of gloves. Not really much else that you need to use apart from that. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a really safe product to use, very, very effective. Um, and in this particular climate now, it's going to be something that people are, are, are going to want a lot more of. And even when we pass this, you know, this is going to be health and hygiene and, and health and safety are going to be at the forefront of everybody's minds once this has, has moved on. Disinfectant and treatment services should become a daily part of what you're offering to your customers. You light the product um, and then literally once you've lit the product, it's the same as the, as I said previously, it's the same as the old insecticide pots. Um, you, know, you light the product. Uh, the product then draws the smoke out from the from the base unit and, and, and puts it into the atmosphere. It's a dry smoke as well. Um, it's not going to leave any kind of sort of residue on any surfaces. You don't even need to come back in and wipe down if you, do, you know, if you don't want to. Um, it's not going to leave an active residual after a, a lengthy period of time, but after a couple of hours, you know, any any viruses found within that area, you know, it's it's going to treat that area. So if you're dealing with rats, for example, potential for leptospirosis. It releases products into the atmosphere and in, into the room and you're going to have a um, sort of a, a good effect on anything that might be uh, lurking around the obviously what you you've got to be aware of is you don't want to be stood in there you don't want people stood in, but once a couple of hours has passed the room is then free to be used again
There is a video available online if anybody wants to get in touch with us. There is a video available of the large, uh, the, the, the 250 gram being lit. Um, and my strong suggestion is do not go and release that in a three bedroom property because it, it's a, a solid bit of kit and it's, it, you know, it covers a massive area. So it's literally going to engulf the entire property. So uh, you know, this, you've got the smaller ones for your domestics and your small businesses, and you've got the large, great big ones for any sort of wide open areas that you're doing in, 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 internally. Yeah, but if anyone gets in contact with you, they can just get that. And if anyone has a question, just give you a call. And Exactly, exactly. My numbers, uh, my number and details, they can contact me through the website. Um, obviously then contact our offices if I'm not available there'll always be someone around to give them a hand and to help them out it's been nice talking to you and you mate and you got the birds in the background your dog's haven't intruded yeah. but to be fair they're, they're around the garden somewhere and just, just glad they didn't normally they're barking at something or other or chasing cats or squirrels around the garden so they're an absolute nightmare a lot of people who know me in the industry whenever they speak to me on the phone they always get the obligatory uh, sorry about the dogs in the background <laughs> well I'll leave you to it uh, thanks for the call Thanks, mate. Take care.